daily devotional for February 13. Today's scripture reading will be uh, Matthew 22, verse 35 to 39. Now the Pharisees and the Sadducees have gathered together, and one of the lawyers was going to test Jesus, and he said, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Now, I've got to share a little story with you. I have uh, a grandson. He's almost five. He's in pre-K, and I have a picture of him. I have it on my counter, and he sees himself when he's at my house, and he picks that picture up, and he will say very endearing. He's, he'll tell himself in the picture, I love you. It's so sincere. He tells himself, I love you. And then he gives his picture a kiss. <laughs> and his daddy said, well, he's got half of it, right? Because you're supposed to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So this kid is really going to love his neighbor because he truly loves himself. <laughs> At least his picture. But you know what? We seem to be so self-centered so often that we forget about our neighbor. And uh, can we love our neighbor as ourself? Can we truly love them? Are we willing to take them, you know, a loaf of bread, a can of soup? You know, when we make something we have an abundance, do we just freeze it or do we share it? You know, and who is our neighbor? You know, your neighbor is, can be anyone. It could be anyone who's in need. So Jesus is saying to love the Lord your God with all your heart. Can you love him with all of your heart? That's a tough one. Think about it. <clears throat> Do you really love the Lord with 100% of your heart? Or is there just a portion? Are you giving him 50%, 75%? What are you holding back? Okay. We need to love him with all of our heart. And how do we know if we are loving him with all of our heart? What do we put before the Lord? Okay, if we're spending more time on our phone and videos and TV and even reading books than spending time with the Lord, then we put those other things, idols of our heart, we put before him. And our soul, you know, this is our worm, <laughs> our soul, our mind, will, and emotions. Are we running off track with our soul? Do we let our mind run away with our thoughts? Well, and that is our mind. You know, where is our mind? Is our mind truly concentrating on the Lord? Are we inviting him to be in every part of our life, every decision that we make? You know, even if it's down to what you eat. Now, I know that might sound a little bit silly, but you know, we have a lot of overweight people, including myself, in do I ask him what I need to eat? You know, basically it's telling me what I can't eat but we need to include him in all the decisions that we're making, and then we will have loved him with all of our heart, okay? So it's just food for thought for the day, so be blessed until next time.